We will now test the velocity of the potato at each angle, and then we will use the velocity in a new formula to find the maximum distance that the potato achieved. The first step we have to find Vy, or the vertical axis. So in order to do that, we have to use the velocity formula of Vy times time minus 4.9, which is half of gravity, times t squared. We are able to delete one of the t's, so we get the new formula, Vy minus 4.9t equals 0. Vy minus 4.9t equals 0, or Vy equals 4.9t. We use our time of 1.9 seconds to get a Vy of 9.3 meters per second, which we'll plug up here. We'll now find the velocity, so we'll take Vy, or 9.3, equal to the sine of 25 degrees, so 9.3 we divide by the sine of 25 to get a velocity of 22 meters per second. We'll then find the horizontal velocity, Vx. We'll use the formula V times cosine of 25, because that's our degree, equals the horizontal distance. 22 meters per second was our velocity, so I'll multiply that by the cosine of 25 to get a horizontal velocity of 19.94 meters per second. Now we will find the distance that the potato traveled, so we'll use the distance formula of x equals the horizontal distance times time. x equals 19.94 times our time of 1.9 seconds to get a distance of 37.89 meters. Now we'll go to the 45 degree angle. First we have to find Vy, so we'll use the formula of Vyt minus 4.9t squared to get Vy minus 4.9t. So then we reduce that to Vy equals 4.9t. Vy equals 4.9 times the time of 2.4 seconds. So we get a Vy of 11.76 meters per second squared. Now we will find the velocity of the potato for at a 45 degree angle. Vy times 11.76 equals the sine of 45 degrees. We take 11.6 and divide that by the sine of 45 to get a velocity of 16.63 meters per second. Now we will find the horizontal velocity. So we take velocity times the cosine of 25 to equal the horizontal velocity. 16.63 meters per second was the velocity, so we multiply that by the cosine of 45. So then we get the horizontal velocity of 11.76 meters per second. To find the distance that the potato traveled, we'll use the distance formula of x equals the horizontal velocity times time. The distance equals 11.76 times our time of 2.4 seconds. So we get a distance of 28.22 meters. We are now on the 75 degree angle, so we have to find Vy first again. So 0 equals the v velocity times time minus 4.9t squared. So it's Vy minus 4.9t. 0 equals 4 Vy minus 4.9t. So we get Vy equaling 4.9t. Vy equals 4.9 times 3, because that was the time, 3 seconds. So we get a vertical velocity of 14.7 meters per second. To find the regular velocity, we take Vy times the vertical velocity of 14.7 seconds equal to the sine of 75. We divide 14.7 by the sine of 75 to get 15.22 meters per second for velocity. Now we will find the horizontal velocity. V times the cosine of 75 degrees equals the horizontal velocity. 15.22 is our velocity times the cosine of 75. So we get a horizontal velocity of 3.94 meters per second. To find the distance that the potato traveled at the 75 degree angle, we'll take the distance formula for the horizontal velocity of 3.94 seconds times the time of 3 seconds to get a distance of 11.82 meters. Here were our total distances. The 25 degrees traveled 37.89 meters. The 45 degrees traveled 28.22 meters. The 75 degrees traveled 11.82 meters. So our maximum distance was achieved at the 25 degree angle.